Donald joins us live outside of the law enforcement center with more on how the community has reacted. Kelsey, so heartwarming. Absolutely very heartwarming, Gordon and Amy, and it has been a long road of recovery for the past six months for Corporal Lucas walks after he was shot in the head back in November while responding to a call. The support he has received from the community has been absolutely remarkable, and today he received a very warm welcome back home. It's the sound of joy after weeks of hoping for this very moment. Oconee County Corporal Lucas Watts is back home. He served all of us, you know, and he was here to protect and serve. He was wounded in the line of duty. The least we can do is come out here and welcome him home. A large crowd filled with law enforcement, first responders, and other community members gathered near the Highway 11 bridge over I-85 Wednesday afternoon, flying flags and handmade signs of support as Watts was escorted home. It's really beyond words to describe what you saw here today. The Oconee County Sheriff's Office and other surrounding agencies say they've been there every step of the way, leaning on each other as Corporal Watts spent the past several months recovering in an Atlanta hospital. Lucas Watts is a great deputy. There's no question about that. And what we've been focusing on is, is basically to love the family, support the family, do what we can to help the family any way that we can. Outpouring support, continued prayers, and Kilo 6, Watts' radio number scattered throughout the crowd. Folks just love our, our law enforcement officers down here. And it doesn't stop there. Signs of support and words of encouragement displayed on message boards stretch farther throughout the county. We support the community. We're very excited to see Lucas's recovery. Um, our prayers, thoughts and prayers are going out to him and his family. It's a sense of community banding together to uplift one of their own. Today was really a, a celebration today. It's, it's about Lucas and welcoming him back home. And it's something that will continue for years to come. All of the public service folks, all of the, the members of the community to know that if it wasn't Lucas, if it was someone else, we would still support you. You know, we're all a family here. And we are pleased to report that the sheriff's office says Watts is getting stronger day by day. He still has a very lengthy road of recovery to come in the days and weeks ahead. They're asking for continued support and plenty of prayers. Live tonight in Oconee County, Kelsey O'Donnell, back to you. Well, they will surely get that, Kelsey. Thank you. The community says there are plans to have even more fundraisers and other ways to support Corporal Watts in the weeks ahead. The sheriff's office is saying that they will continue the rehab here in the upstate. Emergency